All right, Donnie, back here with Sweet Spot Archery. Uh, we're going to try to do a little over the shoulder of unboxing, um, how to charge a unit, and then if you have the Pro model, how to connect it to Wi Fi. So here goes. First thing you're going to do when you get your unit, see if this will focus, get it out of the way. It will come in bubbles. A lot of times, uh, this one's not. A lot of times they will be dead when you get them. Uh, buttons get hit in shipping. This one, this one is dead. No power, that's fine. Um, there's a small drain on them. So very important to notice there is a bevel. There you go, there's a bevel to the charger. So the angle always goes up. Um, and of course it says charge here on the bottom. Plug it in there. It's a standard Android cable you get at Walmart, you get it at a gas station uh, for a few bucks. You can charge it from your computer into the USB port and she's on. When you first get it and turn it on or plug it in, it's going to say calibrate on the screen. Let's see if it's a focus. Sorry. It's going to say calibrate on the screen. Um, so that'll come on. You know it's charging. It's fine. If you want to see that it is, you can hit select. It'll calibrate and there's no sensor hook to it so it's going to move a little bit. Hit OK and fire shot. Right here in the corner, um, in the bottom right corner, It'll have a number. Right now it's zero. So there's no charge. Uh, I have an asterisk. An asterisk shows you that it's charging. If there's a percent sign there, um, it's not charging. So that's that's what you'll do. Leave it. Let it charge three or four hours um, to get a good first charge in it. You know they've been sitting on the shelves. They travel, bumped around. So that's a good thing to do when you first get them. You can also charge them standard use. Uh, micro USB to the wall outlet. Make sure if you use the wall outlet that you get a standard uh, you know, 5 volt, 2 amp charger. If it's over 2 amp, uh, you take a chance of it getting too hot. There's a safety in here and it won't take a charge. So don't use a uh, Samsung fast charger. Just a standard, you can use Samsung, just don't use the, the fast charger. Uh, if you don't have one that's not a fast charger, then just plug it in your computer. So there's your battery percentage. When you're charging, you have an asterisk uh, right here. When you go into Wi-Fi, turn that on. Okay, so now the Wi-Fi is on. The very next, that's your password. We turn this unit off and back on. See the W there? That means your wireless is on. It tells you on the home screen. Um, on our computer, if we go to the same SSID we had, or on your phone, um, iPad doesn't matter. It's going to ask you to connect. It should ask for your password. When it does, um, we'll go to the next screen here and get our password. So you have the Wi Fi. AP mode is the one you want to be in. The next one is your password. All right, once you're connected, you pull up the internet. And in, in the uh, manual, in the manual that comes with it, it's going to tell you to go to uh, sweetspotarchery.bow. That domain was uh, bought out from underneath us. That's the second time that happened. So we, you're just telling it into the device. So we're going to go to 10.0.0.1. Enter. So now we're in the device. Um, if you turn this off, of course, that goes away. So we're in the device. Um, we can go to view shots, real time, or settings. In the settings, um, you can change. You can put, you can name, put your name in there. You can change your optimum. You can change your high. The brightness, uh, pin brightness. The other brightness, that would be your LED. Your shot timer. These are my settings here. So I'm 10 apart. I got my brightness on very low. Um, and if you, if you have a coach, this is where you would name uh, whatever his router is called. You would name it here and you would put in his password there. And that would let you him be able to see more than one person uh, if he has the software. So we go back out of settings. And when you do that, it, it changes it real time on your device. Um, so if we go to view shots, I have like 475 on this unit. So the, uh, there, there's a bunch. But it's going to pull them all up in a bar graph. 
the shot numbers here, the values here. Uh, spikes are usually letdowns, or I didn't draw my bow all the way back here. Um, I can click on one of these to show you. And you can see when I started to draw my bow, each dot is going to be a quarter of a second. So I started to draw my bow and I bet my arrow fell off and I put it back on. You'll see that. Um, at each value, you can see each point that's plotted, uh, what your force is. Of course, that's the blue line. The red line is the high. Be, that correlates with your red light. The green is your optimal and that correlates with your green light. So it tells you what, uh, what my settings were here. My high was 557, 534, and my force was 548. So you can see, and that, you know, if we fired good here at the end. Um, you can go, you know, next shot. You can go right through here, previous shot. Um, okay, right here where it says auto, that, that's where it's gonna, it's gonna just zoom in on just the important part of your shot. If you go to full, that shows you the whole thing. Uh, it stays in this mode when you go through. That's picking your bow up the whole 25 seconds that it's recording. Um, down here at the bottom, of course, here's your time. You end at zero, so at, you know that was an eight and a quarter second shot. That was a lot faster than most shots. You know, here's around 11 and a half, 12. That's where normally I am. Um, but anyway, if you go in, there's the uh, last five seconds of your shot, last 10 seconds, last two seconds. This is this is the important part. This is where you see your green down here and your red here, and you want to see how consistent you are. That's that's very good. That's a very good shot. That's what you want to see. Um, you see more of it in, at five seconds. That, this is where I like to see it the most. Of course, you're firing it right here at the end. Now the spike up, that's a letdown at the end. So if we go back in here and see, go back to full. No, that's not a letdown. That went above the red line. That's where we pulled a little harder before she fired. That was a letdown. So, so what, what you're, you're not seeing your draw curve here. What you're seeing is the flex of the riser. So when your cams are halfway through the cycle, that's when you'll have the most force on the front of your riser, and that's where you'll see the highest point. And it comes back down, and then your cams, you're in the valley. This is where you're shooting from. And of course here, you let back down, it spikes up, and back down. So here would be a normal shot. And if we go in and look at like the last five seconds, you can see that's a very good shot. Your time is down here at where you're at. Um, I think it's important. We've had a few people ask, you know, what's a good shot? This is what you're looking for. You're looking for it to be flat at the end. So if you go through auto, anything that stays pretty consistent through here, you know, is a good shot. Um, you can see if they start to come up, you know, you're, you're helping the release. You're pulling through your shot there, so you're increasing pressure when it fired. Um, that's better than here where you're falling off when you fire. So you're good, 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 you get weight, that's your dip bank. Um, so that's the things you wanna look for on the Wi-Fi, but that's how you connect to it. It also, once you've connected your computer to it, it tells you a date and a time uh, that your shot was fired. So every shot has a timestamp on it. You can come in here, you can delete shots out. Um, and let's go back. So you can save all these shots to a file. So once you get 500 shots, uh, the unit's full. And you can delete them out. Of course, you can clear data here. Completely wipes it out. Um, you can save them to a file if you want to keep them in, uh, you know, on your computer or on your phone somewhere. You can save them. They will be uh, raw numbers right now. You can also load a file. So here's where you can load uh, to view your old ones like this. So you're back here real time. If you go to it, that's going to be exactly right now. Um, stick this unit on here. Okay, we're going to go in and I'm going to calibrate this to this bow. So that should put me back at zero. I calibrated it. I'm just going to hold on to it. You can see as I draw, the units are gonna climb. So a, a coach can watch exactly where I'm at. Will I increase or decrease? 
Now that's an auto feature. So right here where it says uh, four span auto. If you go to full, auto whenever you get in your optimum, that's where it was in there. If you go to full, it's gonna stay like this the whole time. You can see exactly where you're at, right there where I'm on a fire. Um, and if you go to focus, it just stays in your, your optimal window. So when you draw, it'll be hard to get there like this. You can only see when you're in there for a coach. That's Some people might like that. Some people might like the auto. I like to leave it in full for this mode. Um, these numbers will change. I'm on, well, I'll leave that sensor on. So if I go in here to my optimal value or my high value, I'm going to raise my high value from 423. Watch the red line on the screen. So we're watching the tolerance change. It's in real time as I do it. Um, and I can set it there. The optimal value is my green line. I can raise it up as well. So that's all in real time when you're on this mode. Hope that makes sense. That's the benefit of the, the pro on the wi having that on the Wi-Fi.